kind of cute. Kinda? Aren't those the cutest, fattest, most adorable cheeks you've ever seen? Aw, hey, little guy. Hey, sweetie. Hi there. Don't be scared. Are you all by yourself? You're too little to be all alone. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. And, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home. But someone's got to take care of him. Poor little guy. All alone in the big world. Come here, little guy. Orange, wait. We Come on, little. What? You could trust me. Yeah. I won't hurt you. Huh? Hey. Orange, listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that I just asked that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you... Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble. Cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And I'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're gonna love it there. It's beautiful. What's it called? Oh, Lallyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Dig in. Let me know what you think. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's great! Mm. Mm. Strawberry, it's wonderful! Mm, your best yet! Your reputation as the best dessert chef in the Berry Bitty world has just gone up another notch. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Apple. This beats any dessert that my sister and I have ever created in our lives, times ten. Well, what do you think? <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> no. It's just the agony of agreeing with my sister. <laughs> oh, <Sally. laughs> Thank you, everyone. This dessert shouldn't just be for us. Your reputation should be known around the Berry Bitty world. I second what Apple said, and I third it. Oh, thank you. But just knowing you guys like my desserts... Oh, that makes me happy. Mmm. Mmm! Mmm, that did come out all right, didn't it? <laughs> all right? It's perfect! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with these guys! Okay, so each team has a pen and paper for writing clues? And you all have your secret treasures? Mm -hmm. So how this treasure hunt works is, each team will write three clues. The first clue will lead to the location of the second, and so on. At each location, you will find a secret treasure. Whichever team finds the secret treasures first will win the jackpot, which is back in town, waiting. 
just so we don't get in each other's way, why doesn't my team go this way? And Blueberry, your team could go that way. Good idea, Strawberry. Okay. We will have one hour to hide clues and treasure, and we'll gather back here afterwards. And then we can begin the treasure hunt. Yay! Wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. Long story. You wouldn't even believe it. Friends always know what to say. Well, you know you found a friend that's real. That's true. When you see the real person in you. Uh, when they see the real friendship in you. When they see the real star shine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! Sorry, I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um, no. <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh, yes. I, I was going to ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh. Just sort of driving through, and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well, no. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <laughs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. <laughs> My entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot? Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she goes! Make Mary for Cherry Jam! Superstar! Okay, ready? And lift! <laughs> there. That's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? 
Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. <laughs> this is great. I know, I know. You don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired? Tremendous? Cutting edge? <laughs> See, um, Orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have, a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh-huh. <laughs> Strawberry's latest creation, which she calls Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse, gets five yummy yum stars out of five. And a bonus, mmm, that's good, from your humble reviewer. And so until next time when your tummy says, let's eat, this is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call him like I taste him. Oh, Apple, that's just wonderful. And the orders keep coming in. This is so exciting. You're making Strawberry famous. It's her recipes that are doing it. I'm just the messenger sharing the good news with the world. Sweet. Your peach parfait's up. Gotta get back to the kitchen. Okay. What's next on the menu? Grape, grape, grandy. <sighs> Mmm, mmm, mmm! Strawberry, you have done it again! Simple words fail to describe the great goodness, the incredibly great goodness of the latest and tastiest wonder from the creative kitchen of Strawberry Shortcake. <gasps> Chew! Morning, Strawberry! A delightful dish called Great Great Brandy. Morning, Apple! Uh, what's the matter? Got a cold? Nah, allergy. I get it every year when the purple puff petals are in bloom. I can't smell a thing. Well, this will make you feel better. Wait till you read my review of your great grape grandy. Oh, you liked it? Loved it. Another hit. <laughs> great, thanks. Here's your latest orders. Three dozen O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprises, ten Gooseberry Geysers, two with extra nuts, 17 Strawberries Fabulous Fig Frappes, half a dozen Nana Num Nums, and a Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse. Uh, two Mucho Mocha Mango Mousses. Excellent. Should do it. All righty, uh, let's get everything cleaned up. Oops, <laughs> I think I left my Skittle Jinx by the cable queue joint. What was that? talking about were you eating toast no no it attacked me oh you were attacked 
by a piece of toast. Well, Ed, I'm, I'm, I'm only telling you what happened. I don't know how she can stand it. Who can stand what? Strawberry can stand working in a cafe that's, you know, haunted. Haunted. Haunted? There's no such thing, Earl. Eesh, you and your fancy imagination. Well, Ed, I, I'm only telling you what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work to do. Come on. Hm. You made me leave my Skittle jinx behind again. Well, Ed, I, I didn't mean to... Wait for me! You stay up there! <sighs> Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering a soul, when all of a sudden... <gasps> Murder and Mushberries! My backpack! The Marshmallows! Quick, catch them! Precious marshmallows. But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree. Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dagnabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Hey now, looky here. Might come in handy next time we're high stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! Oh, blusteration. It went down a crater hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes nothing. So back up, we clung down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Jam? Oh, no. Please. Call me Cherry. The actual for real Cherry Jam wants me to call her by her first name? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Just try to think of me as one of you. Excuse me, but why the sleeping bag? We thought you always sleep in your fabulous tour bus when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? You mean, like a camp out? Exactly, a camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, uh, that's right. Just stay right here, uh, relax, and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah, let's go, girls. Oh, you're gonna love it! Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. 
If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? And go to the okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage! Well, see you in the morning. What is that? I promise, it's not my stomach. We believe you. I have a feeling I know just what it might be. Oh no, Tad doing his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Close your eyes. Time to please stop your croaking Pleasant dreams, little frog Won't you finally go to sleep? Huh? Who? What? Is he? Shh, shh, shh. Let's go. Back in five minutes? It's been more like five hours. I wonder where she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. Make sure this end stays shallow enough for Ted to get up. I wouldn't want him to hurt himself having to hop too much. Orange! What are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Tad. Isn't it great? Orange, um, promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> well, I gotta admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. <laughs> No, I will. Oh, pretty frosting.
like it. It's totally and completely new. Um, different, even. Great! Will you review it on your very best bits page? Uh, sure. Why not? Um, certainly. Thanks! Like you always say, you call it like you taste them. <laughs> yes, I say that. <laughs> That's exactly what I say. Uh, be right back. Do the whole time. Our treasure is gone. <gasps> oh, no, it's not. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the cafe and I'll make a fresh batch of berry bitty banana chips. There we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now! That canteen is iron, Buster. Kind of hand it over real friendly-like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Balleration! Well, now the hair's in the butter! After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best up lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle! Rain him in! Get up, cowgirl! Woo! Yeah! Woo -woo. Well, I'm here to tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... No almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. Hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <gasps> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go. Beg pardon? I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Pelonian Sweet's precious almond?
strawberry. Better flour some cake pans. The orders are going to be pouring in. Very Berry Spice Royale? Another great review from Apple. Oh, good. I'm glad she liked it. So how's the allergy? Getting better, thanks. The purple puff petals are almost finished blooming. I... Excuse me. <clears throat> Berry Bitty Cookery Company desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speaking. Yes? Uh-huh, yes, this is strawberry shortcake. Well, I... I'd be honored to. Of course. <laughs> Certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Yes, it'll arrive on time. Thank you, Your Majesty. That was the Queen of Berryvania. <gasps> she saw Apple's review of my very Berry Spice Royale cake. She wants to order one for her inaugural ball. <laughs> Big enough to feed a hundred people. <gasps> oh, <that's well>. great. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd better get busy. Higher! Higher! Trust me, I'm trying! 